What's up guys, John here, hope you're having a great day, and in today's lesson I'm going to take you through playing some rhythm guitar over Cannonball Rag by Merle Travis. This is a classic finger picking tune, and today we're going to work on an awesome exercise that's going to really help get your thumb of your finger picking hand together. The whole idea is that we want to keep this solid accompaniment going back and forth through the chord progression. I'm going to break down all the sections you need to know so you can play this along with all the versions there are out there. Before we get into the lesson though, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed. We have new video lessons dropping every single day on the channel that are really going to help out your playing. Alright, let's get into the lesson. To start off, we're going to do this little pickup. And this is sort of like start your engines kind of sound here. We're going to play the second finger on the fifth fret of the D string. And then we're also going to play the open G string with that. Then we're going to dip back to the 4th fret on the D string. Then back up to 5. So da da da. Then we're going to go into the chord progression. And for the chord progression we're going to play this. So first I'm going to start off by just showing you what the finger picking hand is doing here. We're going to be playing the low E string and then we're just going to move to the D string and do like a little strum. So our thumb the whole time is just going to do this. So if I put that with the changes, that. So here's the chords that I'm playing. E7 to A7 to D9 to G. So for the E7 I'm playing an open E string and then my second finger goes on the 6th fret of the D string, then third finger on the 7th fret of the G string, and first finger on the 5th fret of the B string. And then I'm going to use my thumb to play the 7th fret of the low E. So it's going to go for the first time, and then we're going to add the thumb. See that there? So it's... So we do it twice there, and then we go to an A chord. You could play A7, or I think I played A a second ago, just the straight triad. So that's going to be thumb on the fifth fret of the E string. There's your root note A. And then we're going to mute the A string and play 7, 6, 5, starting on the D string. 7, 6, 5. Again, remember our, our picking is going to do the same pattern here but what we're going to do is lift our thumb on and off. So we're going to play the 5th fret, then open. So we've got E to A. The next chord is D9, and you know, Merle might play it like this, with his thumb coming over and playing two strings. Or you can use your second finger and cover two strings. So Starting on the low E, I'm playing 5, 5, 4, 5, 5. And if you want, you can get the high string in there as well, but it's a D9 chord. 
with the fifth and the bass, the A in the bass. So a lot of people play this chord like this, but what you have to do is grab that extra string. So you're gonna get that sound. Again, keeping the thumb of the picking hand the same, D9. Then we're gonna go to G. And G's gonna be the same as A. Sometimes I'll use my third finger and get, do that same trick where I'm covering two strings. So you've got E to A to D to G. And then you can do the pickup again. Keeping that thumb steady. That's the first section of the tune, and it goes twice. So I'll play the whole thing with the pickup. One, two, three. And four, and A, D9, G. Pick up, E. A, D, G. Then, after that second time, we go on to the next part, which is, you know, the melody's going. So what we're going to play there is D7 to G, D7 to G. So for D7, we're going to make like a C shape here, but it's going to be with our first finger on the third fret. So I have, starting with the low E string, I've got five, five, four, five, three. Again, that third finger is getting two notes. You don't have to get two notes, you could just play the one if you want, if that's easier for you, but play the low E string. Because remember, the whole point of this lesson really is getting that thumb to do this through the changes. So we're going to play D7, and then we'll go to G. And G, you could do the same as before, or sometimes I'll play it like this, with my third finger in there as well. And then D, G. Then we do this walking progression that, that's sort of like the turnaround. Then you're back to the top. So that progression there is, I'll say the chords as C, C sharp diminished, G over D, E7, E flat 7, D7, G. So let me show you those shapes. I'm playing the same as I did on the G here, just moving it up to C on the 8th fret. So that's going to be starting on the low E string, 8, then skip a string, 10, 9, 8. Then to C sharp diminished, which is 9, mute the A string, 8 on D, 9 on G. Then to G over D, like a little triad here, like a G triad, right? But with a D in the bass. So we're gonna play the 10th fret of the low E string, 9th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the G string. So C, C sharp diminished, G over D. Then we take that same shape here, but we're gonna just move it down to the low E string. We've got 7, D string, 6, G string, 7. We're going to walk this chord down in half steps. And then resolve to G, which looks like the C. Again, familiar chord. We, we've seen it already. So C, C sharp diminished, G over D, E7, E flat 7, D7, G7. And that's just going to be a boom chick, like boom chick, on each chord. And then we do that turnaround uh, little pickup again. So we've got the first section, E, A, D, G, E, A, D, G. Then we go D, G, D, G. Then we do the turnaround, C, C sharp diminished, G over D, E7, E flat 7, D7, G. And that's the whole song. So let's play it one time through, and this is going to be your practice to basically play along with this YouTube video and then also play along with recordings, just so you can get that thumb 
alternating. Remember, we're palm muting here. That's part of the sound as well. So it's not just, but you gotta lay your palm down and get that muted sound, which sounds really cool. So here we go. We're gonna start with the pickup. One, two, three, and four, and. that's an introduction to playing this Merle Travis style of thumb picking. I hope you got some value out of this lesson. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you're subscribed. Before you go, if you're interested in playing some lead playing, perhaps you want to take a solo over this chord progression, I've got a free PDF in the description below. It's over 100 pages long. It's all about soloing. It's got licks over major, minor, and dominant chords, so you could use a lot of those licks over this chord progression. Check it out, and we'll see you guys in another video real soon.